Morning, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back down here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Classroom. I'm going to take you over to the Anvil and Forge here in a minute and show you a project that we made this weekend during the utility blacksmithing course. We did lots and lots of projects this weekend. I'll put a kind of a spread out of some of the projects that we showed this weekend on a table. The students made about 15 projects throughout the weekend. It was a four-day class. And one of the projects that we made at the very end was something that I created myself a concept that I came up with I wanted to show you today and it's called the blanket pin sun compass and I want to talk a little bit about on the board real quick about the basis behind this design and how it works then we're going to take it out and we're going to show you how it works so stay with me guys so basically the concept of this is that you have a circle I know that's kind of an oblong circle obviously but you have north south east west this is the darkness hours and this basically is from six to six with 12 being here depending on where the sun is in this arc that shadow is going to do this as it moves across so depending on what time of day it is these are 15 degree increments okay of time so six seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, noon, all right? And each one of these is 15 degrees, approximately. 360 degrees, 360 degrees around, if we take that 15 times 24 hours, it gives us a 360 degree circle. So we're basing this on the horizon line being a straight line across the center of that circle, and this being the daylight hours and the shadow moving across this over the 12 hour period from horizon to horizon. We do have to take into account daylight savings time if we are on daylight savings time, which we are now, we just switched over this weekend, we'll back up an hour or two, whatever time we think it is. So once we determine a time, and that's what we need to determine first is what time do we think it is? And again, anything like this is going to be ish, close, not right on the money. It's not an actual compass dial. So we can count hands from the horizon to the base of the sun or count hands down from the sun to the base of the horizon if the sun's going down. We can look at those type things to give us an approximate time of day. If we have a watch, then we have it very easily. That's why I always wear an analog watch. It makes it really easy for me, all right? Now, what we're going to do with this is we're gonna use this blanket pin and the way this blanket pin is designed is basically like this. You have kind of a ball end here and a ball end here, and you have a pin that goes across this blanket, pin like this, to hold it to your blanket. And so we're going to create our clock face on here by making hash marks at every 15 degrees all the way along this for daylight. If we put a stick in the ground here or a small stick that we can butt this up against so we can butt our horizon line up against this and wherever our shadow is falling, put it on the correct hour, then that will give us this, 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 and this with no wait time whatsoever. That's the base of this design. Let's go look and see how it works. I've still got a forge set up out of here. I've got an anvil. I've got a leg vise. But we had five setups out here this weekend of anvils and forges so that we could teach students how to make basic rudimentary blacksmithing projects. And we did 15 projects, I think, in all. And we did everything from making simple punches and drifts to make tools, to making nails, to making more elaborate things like decorative squirrel cookers, take down game gambrels. We made folding trivets. We made lots and lots of different things that employed different techniques of blacksmithing while we were doing the class. And it was a four day class. Now, one project that we did in that class was something that I kind of came up with on the fly as Kyle Sanborn and I were talking about projects we wanted to do in this class. And so I wanted to show you that project today because it's relevant to survival, it's relevant to navigation, and it's also old school, traditional at the same time. So I wanted to share it with you today. All right, so what I've got laid on this anvil is just a traditional style blanket pin that was used to hold a wool blanket around you in some form, whether that was more of a cape or something that had a hood or something called a match coat. 
And these were very traditional items that were used a lot during the 18th and early 19th century. And they're a project that a lot of blacksmiths understand how to create because they're fairly simple. It's one bar of stock that you bend into a circle around the horn, you flatten out the ends, and you put a pin on there that goes through the wool blanket so the wool blanket's pinched in between this from two sides to hold it together. And you can make these in any size that you want to. What we elected to do this weekend was to make this a four inch circle so that we could match it to a four inch protractor that we had. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to make this not only a blanket pin, but a navigational device at the same time. So if you look at this up close, what we've done here is we have put hash marks in this thing at every 15 degrees, like a clock face. So what you have is you have this blanket pin on the six to six, basically creating your horizon line. You have 12 in the center of the blanket pin and running straight down through the middle of the opening. And then you have an hour every 15 degrees going down both sides of this, just like a clock face, if it were a 24 hour clock. Because looking at the sun, it moves approximately 15 degrees every hour during its travel. And we can use that to base things like sun compasses and clocks and things like that, solar clocks, sundials, all that type of stuff is based on that theory. So we know that this is not gonna be an exact science. We know it's not gonna be perfect. But this can be very quick and easy to use as compared to putting sticks in the ground to find the north, south, east, west line because this is instantaneous. And I'm going to show you how this works today using what I call the horizon line adjustment method. Okay, I have driven just a piece of metal into this flat surface of this stump here. We could use just a stick in the ground. I did this for demonstration so you could see it better. But any stick in the ground will work for this to cast a shadow. But we just need a thin shadow cast off of a center post. Once we have that, we need to make sure that this post is perpendicular. There we go. All right, once we have this shadow on the board, this is where our blanket pin comes in. We're going to lay our blanket pin down over the top of this. There's a couple pieces of information that we need. First of all, we need to understand that this is our horizon line from 6 to 6. And that's a stationary point. So when we put this against here, we keep that blanket pin on that six to six line and we rotate the blanket pin for hours. If we look at our watch, our watch says 10 minutes after 10 right now. And again, we just sprang forward this weekend. So it's actually nine o'clock. So if we take this and we know that the upper number here is 12 and we start at six, as long as we have this on six, all we have to do is go six, seven, eight, nine, line this up so that our notch is on the shadow at the nine o'clock, six, seven, eight, nine, that our crossbar is directly on the six to six line to give us our horizon line. And now we've created this angularity that's going to give us a proper north south direction looking straight ahead. 12 o'clock should be pointing north and the back of this pin should be painting, pointing south. We can now take a compass out of our pocket and we can kind of lay it off to the side here. We don't want to get too close because we don't want it to affect the compass with the metal in the blanket pin. But I think you can see there that that thing is pretty well dead on with the compass. Now, you've got some variation in the compass because you've got six degrees of declination here, almost seven actually in this area right now. So the compass, or the blanket pin is not going to be exact. So that blanket pin may be off about seven degrees because it's almost dead on with that compass. But again, it may not be exactly 10 o'clock either. We looked at our watch, it was 10.15 almost. So you've got a little bit of variance there, 15 minutes of travel, plus the fact that you have daylight savings time to account for. So we backed up an hour because of that. Remember, we sprang forward yesterday. I hope this isn't too confusing for you. It's pretty simple. We have a horizon line. We have 12 marks around the compass to equate daylight hours, 15 degrees every mark. We know it's daylight savings time now, so we've backed up an hour to normal time. So the first mark being six, seven, eight, nine o'clock. We know it's a little after 10, so we backed up to the nine. If we went a little bit further this direction, it could possibly be a little bit more accurate. But again, that much movement, doesn't move the compass needle very much at all. And again, we're not really 
You can see the effect of the magnet. If we take it away, it goes right back where it belongs. So we have taken out any variance there between this drawing the needle because of its metallic nature. And we have a pretty accurate sun compass as it sits right now to give us general direction because now we have an east-west line, we have a north-south line. All right, guys, listen, I appreciate you joining me today for this quick video on how to make a blanket pin sun compass. If you're interested in the blacksmithing class, we have another utility blacksmithing class scheduled for August of this year. It will be the last one for 2024, and the spots will fill quickly because we can only have 12 people out here for the amount of stations that we have for people to work. But it is a very enjoyable class. We had a blast. We had a lot of great food, had a lot of good laughs, and we made a lot of great projects this weekend. So if you're interested in that, www.selfrelianceoutfitters.com. Click on the training tab, find the blacksmithing class, plug your name in because slots will go fast, as I said. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.